Okay, folks, let's get everybody cheering now to start things off. Right, let's, let's hear some noise, guys. Come on. This is gonna this is gonna be awesome. I, I cannot wait to get this started. It's a very rare occurrence that we see a player not from Korea in the finals at WCG. It's time to cheer. It's time to get your your feet off your feet and uh, cheer for these players. Who, who do you guys you guys want to see uh, for you in? Let's hear some cheers for for you, Korea. <laughs> I, I hear just a little bit. <laughs> How about Android? Anybody want to see Android win? Yeah, I hear a little bit more for Android. I think it would be pretty cool to uh, see for you not win this. Okay, folks, we are underway, taking a look here at the Terran player, Android. Again, Android from Russia, and his opponent for you is Protoss in the stylish purple. Uh, I guess that's sort of a lavender, more than a purple, but uh, anyway, following, following for you, he has picked himself up the 6 o'clock position, whereas Android has gotten the 3 o'clock position again here on Estrella. You know, I'm, I'm, the first thing I'm going to be really wondering um, when this game starts out is where is Android going to make his barracks? Because on an island maps like this, the barracks is used to scout your opponent. And um, he, has, he has two directions that he can move in. He could, he could send it north or he could send it south. And, um, you know, if he sends it north, he could be in trouble. You know, we just got a crowd shot there of some fans from For You, and I believe I saw a graphic banner that had a picture of his face on it. So uh, a lot of people travel very far to see their favorite players to come here. There's and Russia on the big screen. Yeah, there we go. There's X. Uh, he got first place in Russia, but um, he's been training with Android a lot, but did not manage to get to the place where Android does. I'm sure he's really hoping and really pulling that um, Android will do uh, the unthinkable, uh, beat the Korean. We got the supply depot down now for Android. Taking a look at for you, he's got his uh, gateway going down now near the top portion of his base. Got the pylon down now as well, of course. And uh, nothing terribly exciting going on as of yet. We do have the assimilator down, uh, going down now for for you. And uh, taking a look back inside Android's base, I still have yet to see a barracks. Uh, so he's going with a lot of SCVs to start off and getting uh, getting a little bit of extra cash. Uh, appears he's sending off an SCV right now, going to build his barracks towards the left side of his base. Um, which way do you think he's going to go here? Uh, actually, it, it's hard Ooh, to tell. Man it's, center. It's, it's, it's kind of in the middle, but I, I would guess the bottom left, I mean, I'm sorry, the, the bottom, it, I, I can't tell. Yeah, I, I thought he might put it way far up or way far down and make my job a little bit easier, but uh, he decided to not do that. So. so Android's going for the fast expo here, actually. He's getting that command center down. I thought it was Rax to start off, but it is. Is that, is that a command center? center? Do we know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Fast expo. Barracks going down now near the lower left uh, portion of his base as well. Uh, going to be doing a little bit of scouting, possibly hoping that for you will scout it and see uh, what's going on over there. But again, for you playing Protoss, going to take him a little extra time to get that scout going and uh, taking a look inside the base of For You, getting his cybernetic score down, and uh, we're probably going to see a whole lot of dragoons coming from For You. You know, um, For You's got a lot of options that he can open up with. He, um, I've seen a lot of good Protoss players open up with uh, shuttles. They just make a bunch of gateways with dragoons on low ground. I've seen the Reavers used a lot. Um, He's, he's got an arsenal of possibilities um, that he can use, and I, I can't wait to see what, what he's got um, up his sleeve. Command Center lifting off here for Android, setting himself uh, an early expo. Um, could be a little dangerous on this map, considering 4 U's location. Uh, but again, 4 U doesn't know exactly where his opponent is at the start. Android now throwing down a factory uh, right on the ridge. Possibly going to float those over to his expo. We'll see what happens. You see another crowd shot there, folks, of the Russian flag. The Russian players very excited to see Android in the finals. Command Center lying down now at the, the, the close expo for Android. He's trying to get himself some fast resources, and we've got for you now warping in his robotics facility all the way, and again, starting to crank out some Dragoons. Yeah, you know, I gotta say, um, I haven't seen this opener used a whole lot uh, from Terrans on this map. Um, I will say though, the, the fact that they're close together, um, it could be good or it could be bad for both players. You know, if Android gets a good setup, it means he's going to have central control of the map and um, it's going to mean for you is going to have to expand farther and farther away and um, that's not good. But at the same time, if he doesn't fortify it, it means for you can rush up and crush him right away. 
something of note is that Android did wait for quite a while before he did start that expo. So, uh, you know, he, he, he has some extra resources to start off. He's got the two factories that are floating on over. Uh, he's got the barracks that has floated over. Um, and he's building a machine shop on his factory. And now for you scouting in the wrong direction. So uh, Android is going to have the advantage here, at least early on. He's got himself three Marines now, Dragoon scouting for for you. It's been sent into the top area of the map looking for his opponent. Support bay going down, or Protoss uh, robotic support going down for for you. Uh, we've got ourselves, uh, I believe, a bunker being built at the expo. So some early defense uh, set up at that expo, and it appears Android going to be able to hold on to it for a little while. Um, you know, important to note is that um, he is getting Reavers. That does give him the option for an early offensive, but you know, by getting the Reavers, um, it's, it's going to get him just a little bit farther behind on that first expansion. And um, let me tell you, if, if, if you lose the Reaver, if you lose the shuttle, you're going to be farther behind. And um, i got to say, I, I like the way Android's playing this out. I'm not used to seeing fast expand on Australia, but um, I certainly wouldn't mind getting used to it after seeing this. Observer out scouting now for 4 you. He's going to send it on over to the expansion base of Android. For you now building himself a pylon uh, at his close expo. He's got two gateways down now there as well. Three dragoons masked up with a shuttle. Uh, again, for you, he's got that cybernetic score cranking away, probably getting the range upgrade on the dragoons. Uh, sending him on over now towards the expansion base of Android. Android could be in a little bit of trouble here, but again, he's got some siege tanks now. He's got in siege mode, and uh, he will force those dragoons to back off a bit. And Android is playing pretty solid right now. He's not really making too many mistakes that I can tell. I haven't and, seen any. And uh, he's enforcing his expansion with, with some major units here. Uh, he's not taking any chances, and it's a good strategy, I think, on this map. You know, um, important to, to uh, discuss also, um, for those of you who are not familiar with this map, this is an island map. Um, which is why it's very interesting that Android did opt to fast expand. But it's not, a, oh, oh, hold on, I'll hold that thought because we do have a shuttle flying into the main base of Android. I, I'm assuming this is going to be a reaver in here. Um, uh oh, it's shooting at the SCVs. Nice it did shot. kill two. It appears for you, taking advantage of his scouting, doing some damage to those SCVs. The SCVs took a big hit there, and the Reaver got in, uh, I think, three SCV kills. There we go, Zealot being dropped as well. Bunker is going after the Zealot, going to kill it off, but if War, he is able to kill off the Siege Tank. Reaver dropped, going to go after the Siege Tank. Goodbye, Siege Tank. Marines coming out of the bunker, trying to go after the shuttle. Not going to happen. Shuttle running away from the fight. Reaver dropped, and he will get the shot off. Goodbye, another Marine. Goodbye, SCV. And oh my god, what a great set of drops coming from For You. He has killed off lots of units from Android. And For You picked the perfect time and perfect spot to do a nice attack on Android. Uh, I like what Android's doing with the SCVs, but you got to remember, he has to make um, perfect use of this Reaver drop because For You's expansion is still only just now starting. I did see um, a lot of SCVs killed back there. Um, that is, that's not good for Android. This is a very uncomfortable position. He was playing everything out right at the start, but it's, it might be falling apart for him. I don't know. Citadel of Badun going down now for for you. It looks like he's going to take advantage of uh, some possibly some Dark Templar, uh, which would be a pretty good strategy at this point in the game. He might be going for those. Might be going for some Zealot upgrades. I think either of them could help him at this point. Uh, we've got the Reavers still being dropped now, going after some of the supply uh, depots of Android. Android going to bring down some SCVs. Will kill off the Reaver with those Just SCVs. bum rush the Reaver and kill it, everybody. <laughs> And SCV's getting the kill, and I know they're... Very nice play by Android back there. He's still in hot water, though. Um, we, he, we're seeing uh, Dragoons getting shuttled into the main base of, uh, of Android. Uh, remember, um, the, all the tanks that Android has are down defending his lower expansion, so it's a very uncomfortable position for him right now. Uh, something to note is that Android did crank out a lot of SCVs to start off. He's got about 13 SCVs or so at his main. Uh, he's positioning them so they are near his siege tanks down low uh, underneath the ridge. So the siege tanks can still up, uh, still see up on top of the ridge because of the SCV position. SCVs now going after the Dragoons of For You. For You dealing some damage here, but uh, Android going to push them back a little bit with his SCVs. Shuttle coming in now for Android. Going to drop off two siege tanks. 
Steve Shanks gonna get in some shots on those Dragoons. Dragoons getting pushed back. Nice job here by Android as he's able to uh, save his main for at least a little while. He's uh, still got four used Dragoons to deal with and his Steve Shanks just not moving closer. Uh, I don't know why he's not getting them in better position, allowing for you to deal some major damage to his uh, to his unit count here by killing off those supply depots. These have been some massive mistakes right now by Android. He's going to be um, it, 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 he's going to be feeling this later on in the game. Uh, he he did lose an innumerable amount of STDs in his main, uh, and now Poryu's expansion is up. Gateways are on low ground. Uh, platform control uh, is is taking place. Poryu is now attempting to. Um, take control of this map, and uh, it's going to be hard for Android to come back when you lose that many SCVs. For you, uh, getting down several gateways that is natural, uh, bringing over another shell into the main base of Android. Android uh, has got several zealots to deal with, and you can hear the crowd going as For you with a very nice drop. Android going to come in with a drop of his own. Four siege tanks dropped against those three dragoons left behind by uh, his opponent. For you, For you sending over a zealot to go after the missile turret. We've got another got attack counter attack going, going on. on in Android's main. Android's natural expo taking some hits here. He's getting hit on the refinery, and uh, he will lose that refinery. That's going to be very critical here for Android. Android loses his refinery at the natural, and uh, for you has almost completely nullified that early expo. Yeah, that, that, that was... Um, for you is being very aggressive right now, and I'm very impressed with this play. I will say props to Android for, um, for staying alive through this, but I, I, I don't know how much longer this is going to last. You know, Android took a big chance by going for that early expo, and like I said, he made very few mistakes in making it. The only mistake, and it was actually kind of a big one, is that he did not set up a missile turret down low or near his mineral deposit. Uh, and he, he did have quite a bit of cash. Uh, he might want to have thought, uh, rethought his uh, building order. But uh, again, it's just the, just the nature of the beast sometimes. Android uh, with two drop ships just uh, trying to go across the bridge is not going to happen. Forced back by some dragoons. Uh, Android again coming on uh, back to his main base, going to use some SCVs to repair. We've got 4U setting up for another drop here. It appears he's gotten himself another expo. So 4U with two expos, Android with one. Uh, 4U starting to take control of this map. I don't know if it's going to be possible for Android to win this at this point in the game. Uh, the loss of those supply depots might be a bit too much for him. You know, now, important to note, um, I was watching Android play against Legionnaire earlier, and he was he was down um, in a very uncomfortable position and did manage to come back with his excellent um, usage of dropships. Um, maybe we'll see it here, I don't know. We've got two factor fa factories down now inside the uh, expansion base, I believe, of Android. He does have himself uh, an, an okay defense. Uh, he has he has been spread out uh, in, from from both of his bases. For you, doing some great multitasking and forcing Android to uh, you know spread his resources very thin. Uh, we've got an academy going down now here for Android. So uh, we'll see what he's able to do. We've got a uh, scouting SCV picked off there by For you. For you, just kind of hanging back. I think I did see one dropship heading off. Uh, into the main base of Android and a shuttle sending off uh, some units up to the top. Uh, we don't have too much going on right now. I think both players just licking their wounds, getting ready for the next attack. And uh, for you now sending over a shuttle, doing a little bit of scouting, possibly a drop coming from him, bringing up some forces to that ex expo. Here we go. Big force going on. Shuttle drawing the fire of those missile turrets. I don't think, think Android's going to be able to hold this whack. This is, this is a very... Um very powerful attack by For You. Uh, For You just turtled very well, but um, actually, a after uh, For You lost all of those, or almost all those zealots, uh, it's going to be a little bit harder to kill them off. But tanks are slowly going down in numbers. Dragoons backing off now. I'm going to pick off the refinery again. Remember, you need that refinery to get tanks and Goliaths, um, and those are very important against Protoss. Without the gas, um, all you can do is get the bikes. We got a bike coming down now here for Android. Not going to be too much to do though. Uh, I don't know if he has fire mines yet. I don't think he does. Uh, so he's trying to use bikes to repel a dragoon attack. Probably not the greatest idea, but uh, he's going to try it anyway. We've got still more dragoons cranking up from for you, and Android just not looking very solid anymore. Uh, he had a great 
great strategy to start off. Uh, here come the drops uh, from Android. One shuttle goes down, though. He's not going to be able to do too much of an attack here, but he might be going after that lower left expo, bringing over that shuttle. He's got nothing to fight it except two photon cannons. That will be enough to stop the shuttle. Android uh, is Android. falling apart right now. GG. And there's the GG. GG indeed. Good attempt by Android to try uh, some kind of a crazy strategy here on Estrella with that uh, the fact that he was terror. And you know what? I think I think the fact that it was so difficult for him is was because of his opponent's starting location. Or you had some good scouting early on. He found the weak point of Android and he dropped his units right on top of that weak spot. Took advantage of it and just some great play by for you. Yeah, you know, I think that strategy um, by Android was was a little bit do or die. Uh, the command center on uh, I'm a pr probably 14, 15 food, something like that. Um, I think he's going to play more by the book and to play a little bit safer if he wants to if he wants to take this title. Coming up soon, folks. We're going to have the next map, and it will be Gaia. stage folks we've got a hell of a match coming up for you that's right it's going to be a great second map and uh, i'm expecting some good stuff from both of these players android and for you yeah um as most of you probably saw android did manage to lose the first game although that doesn't mean he can't come back and win the next two um android did open up with a command center uh with his food at 14 uh and it turned, looks like 4U just went right for Reavers and it just, it just didn't work out. But the next map we got on here is going to be Gaia. Uh, a really good map that we haven't actually got to see on the big screen yet. You know, Gaia is actually pretty interesting, mainly because of its structure. We've got starting locations uh, actually being close together or on the other side of the map. It's actually kind of similar uh, to Turtle Rock in Warcraft 3, if you want to look at it that way. It's almost turned. Uh, but it's it's very similar there. Uh, it's it's pretty interesting. But uh, we've got some pretty well enforced starting locations, and it uh, it's make it's got the makings of a great great map for these two players. I, I did see Android play on this map earlier, and I, I was very impressed. Um, I, I think I think Taren, if Taren plays it outright and doesn't allow Protoss to take corners of the map, the, the Taren can win. But, yeah. Um, we so, don't have that much more time left, so I think um, we're gonna just get this show started.